Today let's talk about position of beta blockers in the treatment of hypertension today and Indian consensus. Management of essential hypertension remains challenging with contemporary control being achieved in less than one-tenth of the cases, especially when aligned with the recently updated guidelines of American College of Cardiology or International Society of Hypertension. The place and positioning of beta blockers have been evolving with recent focused updates such as the European Society of Hypertension 2023 guidelines that may hold relevance for the Indian phenotypic traits of premature cardiovascular disease, fragile coronary architecture, and or high resting heart rate. To further develop consensus on the clinical role and relevance of beta blockers, including nebivolol, an Indian consensus was evolved with graded recommendations on their clinical role in hypertension, hypertension with additional cardiovascular risk or type 2 diabetes mellitus. Coming to methodology, an expert review panel was constituted comprising interventional and clinical cardiologists as experts to synthesize the literature for the development of a validated knowledge, attitude and practice survey questionnaire. Research databases, including Cochrane Systematic Reviews, PubMed, and Google Scholar, were accessed for contemporary information and guidelines on beta blockers updated until December 2023. Delphi rounds were conducted to develop graded recommendations based on the strength, quality of evidence, and the agreement among the panelists. Consensus was achieved on the graded recommendations with greater than or equal to 70% of national panelists in agreement. Coming to results, 96% of respondents opined that the New European Society of Hypertension Guidelines 2023 help gain confidence in using beta blockers, which are considered first-line drugs for the treatment of hypertension. Beta blockers, including nebivolol, can be recommended in patients with hypertension with high resting heart rates, including young hypertensive patients under 40 years of age. For people under 60 years old with hypertension, regardless of whether they have comorbid diseases, beta blockers are the recommended drug choice. 95% of respondents opined that nebivolol is the preferred beta blocker in hypertensive patients with type 2 diabetes mellitus, followed by bisoprolol and metoprolol. More than 90% of respondents opined that the three most commonly preferred beta blockers by experts in patients with angina were nebivolol, metoprolol, and bisoprolol. In conclusion, beta blockers, including metoprolol and nebivolol, can be considered initial line therapy for hypertension management in real life settings. In India, and nebivolol is preferred because of its two important properties highest beta 1 selectivity and endothelial dependent vasodilation.